Montana is the top of many anglers' bucket lists, and for three kids from Kansas, Montana has always been at the top of ours. So after moving west for college, we decided to turn our dreams into a reality. Here's three days of DIY fly fishing and camping in Montana. So without further ado, let's jump into it. What's up y'all? Uh, welcome back to another video. Today we are out in Montana. I'm with my two buddies there. Um, so we're gonna be camping this weekend and fishing the brown run and maybe some other stuff we're not really sure. We're just gonna try to find some spots and have a great time. We're about to, we're pulling into the slide in right now. We're gonna hit up Kelly's shop. So it's gonna be awesome. And yeah, stay tuned. All right, we just got done at the slide in, picked up the licenses, a few, few dungeons and uh, some other flies. So anyways, uh, oh yeah, a little sticker too. So hopefully we can go hit up, hit up the river now and, if we can get a streamer fish, that'd be epic. So anyways, hopefully we can go find a spot. After picking up a few flies at the slide end and getting in some local intel, we spent the next few hours driving down dirt roads, trying to find different ways we could access rivers. Oh, he's got it. All right, so we've been driving around uh, this part of Montana for like the last two hours or so, just trying to find a spot away from people. And look at this, this is insane. There's the Madison down there. I think we're gonna hike down there. We're gonna throw some meat, throw some streamers for a big old brown, hopefully. And yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be beautiful. Let's do it. Before we headed down to the river, we decided to make some lunch to prepare us for the long day ahead on the water. After eating lunch, we were finally ready to begin rigging our rods and start fishing. All right, well, we were walking along the bank of the spook, a nice pot of rainbows. Not the brown we're looking for. Said, I only brought sinking line, only brought a six weights. We're only throwing streamers. But I'm gonna, we're gonna try. Choose where you wanna go. I'll probably hop in right here. Yeah, I'll go a little farther. Are you just trying to, you're just kind of like 10 feet out? Yeah. Oh, I see one. No, a little rainbow. See if he wants anything to do with the streamer. I continued to bang the banks for the next few hours with no luck. All right, well, we've been out fishing for two hours, still staying strong and throwing that streamer with zero success. So I don't know. We might, might move spots. We might, not sure. We're gonna change something up because they just are not wanting to eat the streamer. And there's a bunch of, bunch of rainbows in here that I'm sure I could pick up nymphing, but I don't know. I really want to brown on the streamer, so. We'll see what we end up doing. After fishing that spot with no success, we decided to pack up and go find camp for the night. All right, so we just made it to the campsite. As you can see behind us, we're getting camp set up. So I'm sleeping. And yeah, and then we're gonna head down the river, keep throwing keep throwing big, big streamers, see if we can't pull out a little brown. Okay, so we just got camp set up. We got maybe an hour to fish here on another spot on the Madison um, before the sun goes down. So anyways, we're gonna see if we can't pull something out we got to make something work still throwing the old big streamer let's pray we can get something going after finding camp for the night we decided to hit the river once again throwing streamers and one last effort to find the fish when that also didn't work out we decided to call it a night and head back to camp and begin preparing for tomorrow morning well fishing today has been an absolute grind we have grinded all day just throwing big streamers all day, trying to catch a big brown all day. But I don't know, I think tomorrow, the game plan, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna nymph, I think, just so we can put some fish on the board. Um, anyways, yeah, I'll pick up the camera if something exciting happens, but at this rate, I'll pick up the camera tomorrow morning. So anyways, probably see you tomorrow morning. All right, good morning. Welcome to day two here in Montana beautiful out here we're on the river fog's coming up we're all just rigging up right now um, we threw streamers all day yesterday with zero luck so we're switching things up today we're gonna be nymphing just so we can put some fish on the board pretty confident we can get it done if we nymph um, but yeah hopefully we can pull some browns out of here I'm looking forward to it it's gonna be a great day so let's do it and very quickly into the day I began picking up fish on my stone flat pad here we go fish on Ethan Fish! Fish! Will you come get the net? It's big. 
It's big. I'm recording, right? Yep. Rainbow, I think, maybe. Yeah, sideways. Yeah. Oh, shoot. It's too... My net is like frozen. There we go. I think it's a bow. Or it's a big white fish. I think it's a white fish. Oh, it's a big white fish. Dang it. That's a tank though. <laughs> There's a big white fish. It's going. First fish of the Montana trip. Big ol' whitey. Look at that sucker. Guys, we're gonna get him in. There we go. Get him in. Whew. All right, well, first fish of the Montana trip was not the target species of big ol' white fish, but that was fun nonetheless. Um, anyways, we're gonna keep working down here, keep fishing, hopefully catch what we're after which is a big brown and just a few casts later I picked up another little fish it's another good run there we go fish rainbow little rainbow Okay, let's get this rainbow one done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out, fish. Chill out. Little rainbow. Ate the egg pattern, actually. Shoot, there we go. It's tangled up in my line. There we go. Okay, well, we're pulling off the water now. We fished for about two hours. I caught a few white fish, a little rainbow, but it's just getting pretty busy out here. Um, now that the sun's come up and cleaned out. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive a few minutes and we're gonna go hike up to a lake to catch some rainbows and cutties. I don't know if there's any size to them. We've never been up there. Hopefully there's fish. So anyways, wish us luck and uh, we'll see what we can get done. But stay tuned for the lake. After leaving the river, we began heading up to a high alpine lakes in hopes of finding some cutties and rainbows. Okay, we're coming back. This is absolutely unreal. It's so pretty, especially for a bunch of Kansas boys, but we're coming over this lake and oh my gosh, look at this lake. It's a lot bigger than what we thought. Hopefully there's fish. Hopefully, there's, hopefully we can catch fish. Look at that. Although the views were absolutely breathtaking, okay, well, we were sorely disappointed when we got to the lake and figured out we could not find a way down. Find a way down, and the kind of way we have found is like a mile downhill, and I don't know. So I think we're gonna call an audible. Don't fish this one, and go back and fish a river. So far, Montana has been kicking our butts. Uh, all, yesterday streamer fished all day this morning we caught a few and then a lot of people showed up so we left spots and i don't know it's beautiful though it's been fun exploring with our heads hanging low we decided to pack up once again to go and try to find a new spot on the madison okay well we moved spots we're back on the madison at a very popular hole uh, i'm not going to say where but probably nowhere and anyways we're going to give this a gander 
nymphing stonefly and a scud above it. We'll try this out. Let's do it. After switching from fishing stoneflies to a really small midge, my friend hooked up almost immediately. All right. I'm gonna go for the net. Get down here. My net's too small. <laughs> Walk down here. After chasing this fish downriver, we finally got him in the net. <laughs> That's a good fish. Holy shit, dude. Biggest rainbow? It's a bow. Dude, he ate that gay little thing. Yeah, I know. This is a mitch. After fishing that section for about an hour, we decided to head back to camp and begin making lunch. All right, well, we only fished that spot for about an hour or two. My buddy caught that one. Actually, we fished it for under an hour, but we're starving, so we're back at camp. We're going to cook up, and then tonight, we're going to choose one spot on the river, and we're just going to fish it because we keep moving around. We're spending more time in the car. But anyways, we're going to get a fire going, cook up some hot dogs. After a quick lunch, we were eager to get back on the river. All right, we're back down at the river where we started the day. Um, yeah, we got a few hours to fish. Let's see if we can pull out a few. And let me tell you, this evening session did not disappoint. There we go. After catching a small little bow to break the skunk, the night First only got better from here on out. This evening, pretty little rainbow. So in hopes of not boring you, let's skip right to the excitement. There we go. Oh, big fish, Cooper. I got a tank, I got a tank. I got a freaking tank. Yeah, get that net. I'm gonna walk down with him. This is a tank. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at that. I think it's brown, I think it's brown, I see brown. That's right where I caught my fish earlier today. Oh my, that's a piece. Okay, I'm gonna step back. Oh shoot, he's running. Oh, it's a brown. It's a brown, it's big. He's not ready. I just can't let him get into that log jam. Here we go. Yes! 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 As you can hear from our yelling, both of us were so pumped up to finally get a brown in the net. Oh, drop him. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh my, he's a football. <laughs> all right, well, we have been grinding all last two days through streamers all yesterday, trying to catch a big brown. This morning, we came back to the spot we started at this morning. I had caught a white fish out of this same bowl. It's my biggest brown ever. It's not crazy big, but I am so freaking pumped. Let's see if I can pull this phyla up for you. Whoa. After some quick videos, this fish was ready to be put oh, back baby. to fight another day. Look at that. There's a tank. <laughs> there we go. The grind has paid off. Finally caught a brown. That is also my biggest brown. And did it with my buddies here in Montana. It does not get any better. After catching that fish, spirits were high, and we decided to call the night early and head back to camp to get ready for a fun day of fishing in the fall. We didn't really fish too hard. I'm so stoked though, I'm pumped. But I think tonight we might just head back to camp, take it easy, and then tomorrow morning, uh, we found a stretch yesterday that was loaded with little rainbows. And I think tomorrow we're gonna go back in Nymph just to get some numbers on the board. So. Let's do it. So with that, we decided to head back to camp early so we could hit the sack with hopes of getting into a good morning bite the following morning. Thank you all for watching thus far. and I'll pick up the camera tomorrow morning, so come back for uh, day three here in Montana. Smoking my eyes, but also here's camp. With that, we hit the hay and I picked up the camera the following morning. Well, day three here in Montana, we're headed to the river. Here, wait, stop, stop, stop. We're headed to the river and check out what's right here. After watching those bison for a few minutes, it was time to hit the river. All right, about to head down to the river here. It's about eight o'clock out. 
little later start than we wanted to, but uh, here's the setup. Nine foot five weight, running a golden stone with the brown eight last night. And above that, we got like a little scud looking thing. And then I think the boys over here are running midges with stoneflies as well. All right, so, um, so today I'm running <laughs> this nice little like copper stonefly guy to this guy, three three dollar something. It looks really nice, so it has to catch fish. All right, hi right, Cooper, you're up. What up? Um, today basically. Got my little stone fly down here. Um, got this tiny ass little midge right here. I don't really know. They can see it apparently because I caught a fish with it yesterday. I got a bobber up here. Strike indicator my ass. Good luck. And with that, we hit the river and started fishing. And it didn't take me long at all before I came tight with the fish. Oh my, this is such a good hole. There we go, finally. After accidentally turning off the GoPro, we got it back on and running for the rest of the fight. It's a freaking white fish again. Sure. Dang white fish, I hate this. That's the white fish? Yeah. Let me get this fella. He ate the hairs here. It's a good sign. First one right up here. Ooh, he's little. Okay, kind of a slow start to the morning. Here's the first fish. Been fishing for about an hour and drop him in. A little white fish. There's a guide below us who's slaying him. So we're switching flies. We were throwing big stone flies earlier. That guy ate a small hare's ear. And my buddy, who's behind the camera right now, is gonna run a Pergon <laughs> and a midge. And we're gonna see if we can't figure these fellas out because these runs look amazing. But anyways, let's catch another. And after walking upstream about 100 yards, we did exactly that. Just want another trout. A great run. Come on. There we go. Yep. After turning off the GoPro yet again, we caught the end of the fight. Gosh dang it. Things are everywhere. There we go. Another little white fish. Chill out fish. Hey. Calm down. There we go. After a few more small white fish, I decided to pick up the drone to see if I could get any cool shots. And not long after, my buddy hooked into his first fish of the trip. Unfortunately, I didn't get any video of his fish, but it was a nice little white fish. And now that everyone had gotten the fish, we decided to call it. Okay, well, I think that wraps up fishing here for the morning. Uh, I snapped off, so I'm just gonna try to get some cool B-roll footage, but it's beautiful out here. Caught two white fish. My buddy, Mr. Brown, caught a white fish pretty slow overall trip to Montana but it was absolutely amazing and I hope y'all enjoyed if you guys did enjoy please like comment subscribe go check out this video up here it's kokanee salmon uh, fly fishing was a ton of fun and fishing is a lot more action-packed than that one but anyways I hope y'all enjoyed and could appreciate this beautiful scenery out here and next video hopefully is a lot better fishing but we'll see you in the next and if you made it this far in the video please go down like comment and subscribe it helps out a ton and helps me and the algorithm help pr promote these videos to others. So thank you so much and I'll catch you in the next one.